Hello friends, let us start learning about the tectospinal tract. If this is my midbrain, here are my colliculi. Okay, this colliculi. So if I take one more diagram uh, from the side view, if you go to see where exactly is the colliculus situated, that's my whole motive to tell you. These are the colliculus. They are attached here. They are present here. This is the midbrain. And here are the colliculi. Okay, so this is called as the superior colliculi. This is called as the inferior colliculi. And if we do a section, we see that here is the superior colliculi, which is attached for vision. Okay, so we can draw beautiful eyes and take that superior colliculus is attached with vision. So if you look up here, if I see that, you know, here is the eye. Let me take this as the eye. From here, the fibers are coming. They cross over and, you know, this is the visual pathway. What happens when we are seeing anything, we are actually, you know, impulses are carrying through the visual pathway. Some of the fibers, they go and decussate to superior colliculus. How about hearing? When we are hearing from the cochlea, the fibers must be going, you know, they go to the cochlear nucleus and then some of them cross over some remain on the same when we see the auditory pathway they actually go to the inferior colliculus they also give fibers to the inferior colliculus hence this superior colliculus is involved visual movement and this inferior colliculus is having a connection with the auditory fiber so if we draw here the superior colliculus and then down to the inferior colliculus the fibers which are arising from here from the superior colliculus or the inferior colliculus they may cross over and they may come down to the spinal cord and they give the interneurons to the final spinal motor neuron that is lower motor neuron or you can call it as alpha motor neuron if it is applying to the skeletal muscles right so these fibers are called as tectospinal tract this is called as it is coming from the tectum this together are called as tectum so fibers are rising from the superior colliculus and the inferior colliculus and coming down to the spinal cord are called as tectospinal tract so in tract we should know that the first word is where the tract is originating from followed by where its destination is. If it is coming from the tectum, going to the spinal cord, we call it as tectospinal tract, okay? Tectospinal tract are involved in two reflexes. What are those reflexes? So, another thing we have to know, from the proprioceptors, the sensory fibers are there. They come down. Some of the fibers, they ascend up. These proprioceptive fibers, you know, some of the fibers, they go from the spinal cord to the tectum. We have seen it along with the anterior lateral spinothalamic tract. These fibers also go. These fibers are called as, since they are originating from the spinal cord, they are originating from the spinal cord and going to the tectum, we call them as spinotectal tract. Clear? So we have the interconnections from the tectum to the spinal cord and from the spinal cord to the tectum. So how is it that they are, they are originating from the superior and the inferior colliculi present in the midbrain? They go near to the medial longitudinal fasciculus. As they go down, they go near to the medial longitudinal fasciculus and they finally go into the spinal neuron. You know, they land up into the spinal neuron of the anterior horn. Now, what are they important for? This is the tectospinal tract, which is coming down. What are they important for? They are important for certain reflexes where they are adjusting the head or the body position to a response to a visual or auditory stimulus. Okay. So, what is that auditory or visual stimulus? This is an example of visual spinal reflex. Let's see what is this happening. This person is going. Suddenly, he sees a bird coming near to him and he changes his posture to catch hold of that bird. Okay. This change of posture to a visual stimuli is called as visual spinal reflex. You are going somewhere. Suddenly, 
uh, you just want to see what happened nearby. You know, maybe there was some other stimulus there. Suddenly you move your head or I can say, you know, you are walking down a uh, edge area and you find that there is a hole or pit there. Suddenly what happens? You just look down to that pit. What you are doing? That is spino visual. Now this picture may also show you the auditory reflex where your tectum is involved. Suppose this Mr. Bean, he heard a bang sound, loud bang sound. Suddenly what he does, he changes his posture, tries to look as where the sound has come from. This also is one of the reflex your tectospinal tract is responsible for.